Live indoor music can now be considered according to the state fire marshal's office, but there are a lot of hoops to jump through to stage a show. And as Paul Murphy reports, live music is still banned in New Orleans. In mid-March, the music stopped in live clubs for New Orleans musicians like David Torkinowski. It has devastated the cultural economy in the city and statewide. Louisiana's coronavirus shutdown forced music venues to go dark. A recent change to the state's phase two reopening rules now allows live music in bars and clubs across Louisiana outside of Orleans Parish. But club owners would have to apply to the state fire marshal's office for approval. Fire Marshal Butch Browning admits it won't be easy for venues to meet all of the safe opening guidelines. It's about airflow, it's about the spacing. So, you know, small venues probably couldn't, you know, get where they need to be. The venue must have at least 12 feet of separation between the audience and performers, must make sure everyone in the club follows social distancing measures, and must have an HVAC system that exchanges the air at least six times an hour. Jason Patterson at Snug Harbor on Frenchman Street doesn't see many clubs opening up across the state until late summer at the earliest. We're days away from summer, which is our slowest season. So it's hard for me to believe a lot of live music places are falling all over themselves, though, open back up. Uh, I'm guessing August might be considered, I think, July shot. Torkinowski is also in no rush to get back to live performances in the intimate settings New Orleans is known for. Until we have a vaccine for this virus, it's not going to be safe to have people in confined spaces. New Orleans is now reviewing the new state guidelines. At this time, live entertainment is only allowed in the city in outdoor settings with a special permit. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Now, the fire marshal says his office has only received 17 live music requests across the state.